Hi and welcome back to our channel. This video is a part of the series about the German sausages and in this video I will be covering the fresh and cooked German sausages. This is already the second part of the series. In the first one I have mentioned the history of the German sausages, facts and the classifications. So if you are interested in those, please watch our previous video that I'm gonna link in the description box down below. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and I am food guide in Frankfurt. On this channel we are talking about traditional German food. So if this is something what you want to see more of, please subscribe to our channel. And now without further ado, let's just start. In the first part of this video we will be talking about the fresh sausages. So fresh sausage, as the name suggests, is filled with a fresh meat, like for example bratwurst. Fresh sausages may also be cured and smoked or both. There are two main categories of the fresh sausages. One category is spreadable, like medwurst or teawurst, and the other one is not spreadable, like Alewurst, German salami and Lantiega. If you are curious how the sausages look like, I'm going to show you them next. The first sausage that I would like to share with you, it's called Medwurst and this is a strongly seasoned um, German sausage that is made of uh, pork and sometimes also seasoned with garlic. The sausage is filled with a fresh meat and then cured and smoked. Some of the met wurst are spreadable, especially in the south. And in the north of Germany, they tend to eat more of met wurst that is not spreadable. The way to eat met wurst is on the bread roll or with a rye bread and also with a raw onions on the top. I got the met wurst from this particular company because it is portioned in those three small portions that you can buy in a supermarket and try with a fresh bread roll. Other than this, you can also go to the butcher shop and get it there. Also, don't confuse the metwurst with met because met is actually fresh raw pork, which is not cured and not smart. The next sausage that I would like to talk to you about, it's called Teewurst and this is also a sausage that is spreadable and this is definitely one of my favorite ones because it's got extremely nice flavor. I mean, no wonder the sausage has uh, 30 to 40 percent of fat. Maybe therefore the taste of it is so amazing. So the most famous Teewurst is called Rüdenwalder Teewurst and uh, there are only three companies that uh, produce teewurst that can be called exactly this way. The sausage comes from the Polish city that is called Darwowo and in German it is Rüdenwalder. The recipe of the sausage was developed by the German family who actually moved to Germany in 1945, so at the end of the Second World War, and started producing the sausage here. The sausage consists of two parts of pork and one part of bacon. And when you translate it to English, it actually means a tea sausage, and that's because uh, there was a habit of eating it with a tea. Teewurst, to develop this wonderful taste, has to make it seven days as well. Now we're gonna move to not spreadable fresh sausages and I'm gonna start now with a alle Wurst, which in English means uh, old sausage. And this is obviously because the maturing time is much longer. It can be even up to one year and I think minimum was one month. This sausage comes from north part of Hesse. And I need to tell you that the older the sausage is, uh, the more harder it gets. So I went to Kleimarkhalle actually to get uh, for you this one. And I really wanted to get one of the softer ones. The sausage is made of uh, fresh uh, pork and bacon. It is prepared still from the warm meat, so made very 
freshly. The sausage is spiced with a salt, pepper, nutmeg, caraway seeds, mustard seeds and sugar. Also, what is very interesting to know is that when the sausage matures, it loses 30% of its weight. The next sausage that I would like to cover is a semi-dried sausage and uh, this one is called Landjäger. Landjäger sausage was actually used uh, while, for example, hiking because it didn't need any refrigeration. It was also previously used by the soldiers uh, exactly for the same reason. Landjäger is a sausage that was made of equal parts of pork and beef and it's very popular in Germany, Switzerland and Austria. When the sausage is prepared uh, with a fresh meat, is then cured and dried and then pressed into this kind of a mold and therefore it's got this particular shape. In Austria, Landjäger is even sometimes made of horse meat. It is definitely another sausage that is pretty fatty because 100 gram has over 500 calories. The next category that I would like to talk to you about it's called Kochwurst and I'm gonna translate it to the cooked sausage. So these sausages are made of um, mostly cooked uh, ingredients, so cooked meat or offal. In contrast to the parboiled sausages, uh, the consistency of the sausage after being cooked does not remain solid. As you can see now on the screen, thankfully our friend Simon has ordered this one so I can show you exactly what I mean. Those sausages are divided into four groups. The first one is Leberwurst, so the liver sausage, Blutwurst, and uh, this is the blood sausage, Koch Medwurst, uh, so this is the Medwurst that I mentioned before, uh, which is uh, cooked. This is usually uh, served in the north of Germany, and Zürzwurst, uh, which is, for example, Presskopf, Presswurst, or corned beef. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that now you know what fresh and cooked sausages you can try on your trip to Germany. If you haven't seen the previous video about the history, facts and the classification of the German sausages, um, please watch this one next. If you have seen it, please stay tuned uh, for uh, next week's video and next week we will be talking about the parboiled sausages. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful week and I see you in the next one. Bye!